Hello and welcome to News Affairs. In this video, we will talk about the upgradation program of Sukhoi fighter jets. The Indian Air Force has embarked on a significant modernization program aimed at enhancing the capabilities of its fleet of Sukhoi fighter jets, one of the backbone assets of its aerial defense arsenal. With an investment of about 60,000 crores, this booster initiative underscores the Indian Air Force's commitment to maintaining a credible and potent air combat force capable of addressing evolving security challenges. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, supported by the Defence Research and Development Organisation, has secured approval from the Defence Ministry for a major upgrade of the Su-30 MKI fighter jet fleet. Before we proceed, we request you to like, share and subscribe this channel. The Sukhoi Su-30 MKI, manufactured by Russia's Sukhoi Design Bureau and licensed produced by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited under the name Su-30 MKI, is a twin-engine multi-role fighter aircraft renowned for its versatility, agility and formidable combat capabilities. Since its induction into the Indian Air Force in the early 2000s, the Su-30 MKI has played a critical role in safeguarding India's airspace and projecting air power across the region. This program for the Sukhoi fleet encompasses several key components aimed at enhancing the aircraft's operational effectiveness, sustainability and combat readiness. One significant aspect of the program involves upgrades of the Su-30 MKI's avionics, sensors, radars, electronic warfare capabilities, mission control systems and weapon systems to ensure compatibility with the latest technology and weapon platforms, thereby enhancing its combat capabilities in modern warfare scenarios. The booster program includes initiatives to enhance the Su-30 MKI's maintenance and logistical support infrastructure, including the establishment of dedicated maintenance facilities, supply chain optimization, and enhanced training for maintenance personnel. These efforts are aimed at improving aircraft availability, reducing turnaround times, and ensuring optimal operational readiness of the Sukhoi fleet. The upgrade will see significant private sector participation, with HAL as the lead integrator. Meanwhile, Russia has persistently urged India to consider the AL-41F IS engine for the Sukhoi 30 MKI fleet. The AL-41F IS engine boasts a thrust of 142.2 kN, a notable improvement compared to the current AL-31FP engines with 122.6 kN of thrust. In addition to upgrades and logistical support enhancements, the 60,000 crore investment will also facilitate the integration of indigenous technologies and systems into the Su-30 MKI, aligning with Bharat's broader objectives of self-reliance and indigenous defense manufacturing. This includes the incorporation of domestically developed avionics, sensors and weapon systems, thereby enhancing the indigenous content of the aircraft and reducing dependence on foreign suppliers. It is expected to include provisions for the acquisition of additional Su-30 MKI aircraft to augment the existing fleet and address attrition rates. This expansion of the Sukhoi fleet will further bolster the IEF's combat capabilities and provide a formidable deterrence against potential adversaries. With over 600 Su-27 and Su-30 type aircraft manufactured globally. Countries like Vietnam, Malaysia, Indonesia and Algeria present a significant export market for these upgrades. Bharat's initial order of 272 Su-30 MKI jets from Russia forms the backbone of the Air Force's fighter fleet, with an additional order of 12 jets cleared last year. The program for the Sukhoi fighter jets represents a significant investment in enhancing the IAF's aerial combat capabilities and ensuring the continued relevance and effectiveness of the Sukhoi fleet in safeguarding Bharat's national security interests. Integration of indigenous infrared search and track systems will significantly improve air-to-air -air and air-to-ground targeting capabilities. The Air Force is set to commence work on integrating the new systems within the year. 
with approximately 90 fighters slated for upgrade in the initial phase, all to be conducted in Bharat. Jai Hind!